This is how to set up your Google credentials in under five minutes so that you can connect to any Google app in NNN. Let's go. All right, we're gonna start with Google Drive. You'll click into here. You wanna to go to create new credential and then you can click open docs right here. As you can see, we need to use a client ID and a client secret. So we're gonna open docs because we need to set up a Google Cloud account. Right here, we can see a prerequisite, create a Google Cloud account. We'll click into here and we need to set this up. From here, you need to set up a project. So I've already got one called My First Project, but we're gonna create a new one. All you have to do is name it real quick. We'll call this one Demo, and then we can click Create. Once that project has been created, you'll click on Select Projects so we can get in there and make that OAuth and the client ID. Now make sure up here you've selected the right project, then we can go into the navigation menu and click on APIs and Services, and we're gonna go down to OAuth Consent Screen. Once we're in here, we're gonna click Create. We're basically just setting up that NNN has permission to access stuff within our Google environment. So we're going to name this one. I'm going to call this one demo. You need to add a support email. So add an email there and then you can fill out more information, but you don't need to just another email right here. And then we'll hit save and continue. From here, we have different scopes that you can set up for now. I'm just going to click continue and then we want to add our test users or we can just publish the app. So in the test users, you want to add an email that will be able to get through that will have permission to access this emails, um, Google Drive, Google Docs, email, stuff like that. So we'll click add, and then we're gonna hit save and continue once again. And this is pretty much all we need to do. We've set up our OAuth consent screen. We have ourselves here as a test user, and now we need to set up our credentials. So on the left-hand side, once again, right above OAuth consent screen, click on credentials. As you can see right now, we have no API keys, no OAuth client IDs, and no service accounts. So we're gonna click create credential, and we're gonna to go to OAuth client ID. Within here, we're gonna set up a web application, and you can name it anything you want. Once again, we'll call this one demo and then we need to add the authorized redirect URI. So back in NNN, we can see the OAuth redirect. We're gonna click on this to copy it, go back into our cloud, and then we're going to paste that URI down here. So now we're good to go, we're gonna click create. Now that we've done that, a screen will pop up with our client ID and our client secret. So we're gonna copy the ID, paste the ID in there, go back to cloud, copy the secret, paste the secret in there, and then we'll be prompted to sign in with Google. We'll click on this button. It's gonna pull up a screen over here where you're just gonna choose the account. You wanna choose the one that you have yourself as a test user. You'll hit over here, continue. We wanna give it access to all of our information, all of our drives, and then we should be good to go because you'll see the account connected. You'll see it go green. And that's all we have to do to set up this credential. Back in cloud, if you close out of that screen, you can still get to your client ID and secret. You'll click on the name of that ID, and now you have your client ID here and your secret here to copy in case you need to set up another credential. So we have that credential connected, but we're not fully done yet because you can see there's no information coming back. So we're gonna go back into cloud. We need to go to enabled APIs and services. And now we need to enable the certain things that we want to access in NNN. So if I come in here and type in Google Drive, we will grab the Google Drive API. And then all we have to do is click on enable. So this will go green. It will say that we've already enabled it. And then we can hop back into NNN and we should see our information. So this just loaded through. We now have the status as enabled go back into NNN and we might have to refresh this, but now you can see we have the information from my Google Drive showing up. So the hard part's really done. Now we just need to do the same thing for Gmail and Docs, but it's much easier now. So we'll come into here, click create new credential, and all you have to do is sign in with Google. So you're gonna do the same exact thing where you click on sign in with Google, you choose the account that you have yourself as a test user. Um, you're going to enable all the permissions. Once again, hit continue, and then it will go, and then it will go green. There we go, I was about to say, what just happened? And once again, this wouldn't work yet because we need to go into um, cloud. We need to go to enable the APIs and services, and then we need to get a Gmail API. And it's the exact same step. We just have to hit enable. And then once that status is enabled, we'll be good to go on NNN side of things. There we go. Now we could come in here. We could fill out what we want and we'd be able to send an email. Then finally, same exact thing for docs, sheets, anything else you wanna use. You'll connect to that new credential. You're just going to add your ID, your secret, and you already have this information set up. It'll prompt you to sign in. And then finally, all you need to do is go back into cloud. You'll grab Google Docs, um, Google Docs API right here. And then same thing, you'll hit enable, and then you'll be good to go. You'll be able to access your documents. And there you have it, super simple, super easy. I know it seems intimidating at first, but now that you've got that stuff set up, you're good to go. You'll do the exact same thing for different Google nodes. You know, if you come in here and you wanna grab a Sheets or you want to grab a Slides, all you have to do once again is go into Cloud and then enable that API in your console. Thanks for watching guys. If you found this one helpful, please leave a like, it really helps me out. And then go to my channel and watch a ton of other NNN tutorials that I've got on there. Thanks.